I have to just take a, a minute here to go back and uh, bring a highlight um, in how I got my license. As I said before, we were in a union town, Utica, New York, and uh, the only way you could get a license there is to be approved by the board, and the board was 100% union, and they were not about to let any non-union which were called at that time scabs, looked down on non-union people to have a license in that city, which shut down every possibility of expanding. So uh, I applied, did a full application, and did not hear. So I called the board uh, secretary, and uh, she answered the phone and, and said something, the most strange thing I've ever heard. She said, uh, your application uh, failed. And I said, why did it fail? They said there were too many misspelled words on your application, which it was not the case. However, I said, ma'am, uh, this is not a spelling uh, contest. This is electrical. And they said, yes, but they rejected it. And I said, well, uh, I have a friend in uh, the church that I go that says that he can get me a license down there for $100. And he'll also get me a plumbing license for another $100 if I want that. And I said, uh, no, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to do that. And they said, well, you just name, uh, you just tell me and I will get you the license. They said, who said this? And I said, I'm sorry, but I will not divulge that information. But I will tell you that I believe the newspaper will be very interested in this. And she said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, to say, uh, I'll make a long story short, within an hour, I had a call from City Hall and said, we've uh, reconsidered your application and you can come down and take your license, or take your uh, exam. Well, when I took the exam, I noticed that the guy at the desk was looking across the, uh, uh, the class. There was about 30 of us in the class. And the others would hand in their, their uh, tests and then they'd leave. When uh, he kept looking over at me and when I, he said, Mr. Hammerly, are you done? And I said, yes, I am. He said, why don't you bring it right here? So I handed it to him and he looked at it and uh, he started to correct it right there. And, well, this is strange. The rest of them he sent home. And uh, after that, uh, he started correcting it. And he said, you have a very good mark. You have like a 95. And I forgot, I think it was 94. And uh, he put a good, an A on it. And he said, you'll have your license in the mail in within the week. And uh, so I got my master's license. And it's interesting how that God will work. He doesn't care where he works. Uh, the, the mob, the mafia, the pressure that comes on all these people. Holy Spirit, okay, says that Father has the king's heart in his hand and he will turn it wherever he wants. He wanted me to have a license. I was qualified, overqualified for a license. I got my license and then I've, we've already shared some of the things that God has done in the next few years, in exactly four years. I just wanted to share how God fills in every, you never push anything past Father. Don't ever try it, it'll never work.